Good morning, welcome to Sunday. Hope it's treating you well so far. Absolutely love those blue lilies. Love anything like that. So how are you doing? You alright? How's the week been for you? Good one? Normal, average? How's the shaves going? That's the main thing. Right, are we having light problems? Probably, I have no idea. The lights are on, but there's nobody home. Today's shave, Susie Banner, the hard soap. Uh, Jandon Mint, hope I'm saying that right, shaving soap. And it states, I can't smell mint, I thought it was going to be mint. It's a beautiful scent, and it states on the website, it's a sort of cologne scent. And I love anything like that. So that's a good start. Wrapped in this beautiful paper. And then, it's wrapped in like cling film. Very good, nicely wrapped. Good job I've seen that, no glasses either. <laughs> That'd have been funny when they're trying to lather it. Just lather up, Susie. No wonder. Right. I'm not going to use a lather bowl for this. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Oh, that's, look at that. Susie Banner, baby. So I'm going to hold it in my hand and lather like that. Brush. Paul H. Films. Cashmere Synthetic. That's been, it doesn't need to be soaked, but I just warm it up in the, and wet it in this little mug. And razor, vintage. This is a Wilkinson sword, sticky razor. Um, twist, twist to open, twist the bottom here. And uh, it'll open up. And I'm using again the uh, Gillette Super Stainless, the spoiler. Um, and this will be its eighth use. Absolutely fantastic. Eighth use. Sun's coming out now. It'll ruin the shot, will it? Anyway, let's wet the face. And let's see if we get on. Looking forward to this. Looking forward to this. Sunday shave. I tell you, I don't know if it's just me. Or they soon come round, don't they? They soon come round. So, I'm not going to bloom this. It's, it's, if you press it, it it'll dent, so it's it's um, a sort of crop, I suppose. So I'm just going to go with the brush down here, just to show you, if you can see this. Lather is absolutely amazing. So far. So we'll gather a bit. So what's your Sunday shave then today? Anything special? Are you home? Are you staying in? Cooking? Sunday dinner? Out? Anything special going on? So I'll just dip into water and see what happens. If you're watching Susie, maybe you can go and show Erasmic how to make a shave stick There's an idea for Some of you artisans um, Most people make a puck like this. Have you tried making a stick or is it difficult to mold it? I don't know uh, Shave stick something different I'm Not just saying you Susie. I'm just uh, Anybody that makes soap is a good idea. So So first impression as you can see there Less than a minute, gathered, lovely brush for lathering. Well, I need cream or soap this. Um, and straight away, no issues at all, nice coverage. So that's a good start. So we'll heat the razor up. Oh, it's nice to see the sun. We've had some cloudy and rainy days this week. It's always nice to see the old sun. Nice razor this. Here we go. So it'll be, it'll feel milder with this blade. Not that it's an aggressive razor. Mm. Very, very slight, very slight overhang. I can feel good slickness straight away. So that's nice, lovely scent.
and that's how I would describe it actually like an aftershave cologne scent you know that type of what can I say when you smell it you think oh that's nice just it's that's nice that's the only way I can uh, describe the scent <laughs> have you got a bottle of oh that's nice yeah we got some just in My second tomatoes ripe. Uh, quite a big one this one. And there's lots of green tomatoes. I tell you what I tried a uh, year or maybe two ago. Fried green tomatoes. Uh, followed a recipe 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 from the States. Uh, and it was absolutely beautiful. I used some of my, um, obviously green, the largest green tomatoes I had and uh, it was really nice. This um, blade, absolutely amazing. There's no sign yet. I'm waiting for this. As you know, if you shave, if you've been shaving this way and you use many blades, you start to have telltale signs, don't you? The oh, stand to slip or stand to tug, then losing its edge. Not with this baby. <laughs> Fantastic. No wonder they don't sell them. She'll let her be bankrupt. Good slickness. Yeah, that's nice. It's not a in your face scent. It's quite a quite a nice mild scent. Nice. Just wet the bar then. I'm gonna go back. Just a bit, just off the tips. Not much. And then we're gonna wet it. And you watch this. And I can quite safely say, so far for the hard soap. So the shaving cream is great. And I can probably safely say now this uh, hard soaps are fantastic and very reasonably priced, may I say as well, for something that works well. Made in England. As is the razor. So it's a bit of a British theme. Isn't it? <laughs> right, second pass across the growth. Here we go. Eyes down for a full hour. Really nice. Listen to it doing its job there. This is nice. Have I said it's nice? Listen to that. Nice razor that. Standard aggression. Well, slightly less with the, with the soothing capabilities of this blade. This has impressed me, this blade, I tell you. It 
top five blades, this would be one of them. Wilkinson Sword, Persona Red, Gillette Super Stainless Spoiler. Uh, what else was there? There's a couple of other blades I was impressed. They'd be my top five. Um, that Triton, that was lovely. That's probably in the top ten. The top ten, top five. That's nice. Mm, lovely. So, not only for its um, longevity, this blade, but it's, you know, it impressed me when it, <laughs> when it soothed the Merca Future on the R41. You know, if you can sort of uh, tone them down, just using a blade, then you can plat sand Absolutely, yeah. We won't go back to the. We we'll go back to the tap. It likes a drink. Yeah, it's a nice scent. And I got one more sample to use in a hard soap, which is the sandalwood. So I look forward to that. Knowing now that it works well. Nice glide. Which equals good protection, obviously. Sunday dinner. Roast beef. Yorkshire puddings. I don't know if I'll do my own Yorkshire puddings this week. I may do. See how time is. Um, I have got some in the freezer. But... Uh, We'll see. And if you want to see how I make them, I've actually done a video on my other channel of making Yorkshire puddings. Um, and I'll probably, yeah, I might put a link at the end if you watch to the end. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll put a link to it. It'll appear in the screen, just click on it if you're interested in seeing it. But uh, Yorkshire puddings, and there'll be steamed potatoes, of course. Uh, Pembrokeshire, while well, they're still going. Some marrow fat peas, sorry Bill. Somebody's got to eat them, because you don't. <laughs> and uh, seagulls. Yeah, we get a lot of them now. Carrots and um, Centers of gravy. Fill in the Yorkshire puddings. I like to fill them with gravy as well. Got to be done. With some vintage cider cooling in the fridge from Aldi's. No, from Lidl's. Lidl. Listen to that. You'll find a... It's quite thick on the chin, isn't it? There's a lot of hair, sort of... Listen to that, whoa. Must have been there. We'll test. I'd like to test the slickness with just water. Oh yeah, fantastic, wow. Well done, Susie Banner. Not related to David, eh? I said that before, David Banner. <laughs> Wasted here. What was his name? Bill Bixby. I always remember my brother, he couldn't watch the Hulk, the original Hulk, when he changed 
to green on his eyes and <laughs> he used to hide behind the couch. <laughs> Has he changed yet? Once he's green, it's alright, it's just the change and he he's a creep around. Wow, nice close shave. And as I say, this is a just a standard aggression razor, Gillette. Did I get you? Uh, it is a Gillette because the blade tones it down. It's a Wilkinson salt sticky. There's a Gillette feel with that blade in it certainly tones it right down. So it's a nice, uh, nice um, sort of gentle shave if you like. And he's, they're all shouting now, hang on, you haven't done, I'm changing it up, that's all, just changing it up a bit. We'll put the neck brace on, and then we'll clean up, and then we'll say three, two, one, pick up time, baby! Right, here we go. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we'll rinse off with cold water. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Okay. Yeah, I love these. And um, that's the thing I was going to tell you, the chilli plant is regrowing, I took all the leaves off it. I had seven chilies, all been devoured now, and they were beautiful. And I cut all the leaves back due to the aphids, and then they've grown back, and there's more flowers. And I've put it outside, no aphids, and it seems to be doing okay. So we'll see if there's another, maybe a second crop of um, chilies. I don't know. Humphreys... This is sandalwood witch hazel. I put some sandalwood um, essential oils in. Yeah, nice. Only gentle, it's nothing. Again, nothing major, it's just a, takes the uh, witch hazel scent away. And then we're going to head over to St. Michael, so Marks and Spencer's. For some of this uh, wood spice, what's it called? Bur Burgundy wood spice gentleman aftershave. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, very classy. Hey, put, put a shirt on with cufflinks. Wearing this stuff, none of your buttons. That's that. And then we're going to go to the body shop for the Arbor Aftershave Balm. Arbor. 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 Beautiful. That's a nice scent. That's a well, it's a well matched scent to the soap aftershave. 
and cream together. As I say, it doesn't make me any better looking, but I feel damn good. Look at that. Lovely, close, clean shave. So, vintage Wilkinson sword sticky. Um, lovely, uh, lovely razor, twist to open, non adjustable, very slight overhang, very slight. Using the Gillette Super Stainless Spoiler Blade, eighth use, and no signs of any problems whatsoever yet. So, if I get 10 out of that, I'd be very happy. Very happy. Um, fantastic. Enjoyed it. We've used Susie Banner, the Jamden Mint. And it's a nice sort of aftershave, cologne scent. Just pleasant. Um, lathered up, as you've seen, under a minute in the hand. I'll rinse that off and dry it before it goes back in the paper. And on the face, a bit, bit of water, it works well. Lather stays, doesn't dissipate as you could see, and there's a nice gentle scent and good slickness and glide. Really enjoyed it. Paul H. Films brush, cashmere, the white cashmere synthetic knot. Nice, nice brush. And then we've rinsed with cold water, Humphreys sandalwood witch hazel. We've had burgundy wood spice aftershave, Marks and Spencer and the Arbor Aftershave Balm. Lovely combination. And I must get, there's a green bottle of this stuff, not this, it's a different aftershave, but the same shape, green. I forgot the name of it now. Irish something, is it? I must try that as well, so a few people have said it's nice. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of the Sunday, great weekend, what's left of it, and an even better start to next week in your health and your life, or whatever you're doing. Try and stay positive, black, Block your mind of this rubbish happening in the world and try and live your lives. That's what we're here for. Hopefully. <laughs> so I'll see you on Wednesday now for the midweek shave. And uh, as I say, if you want to see this Yorkshire pudding making, it's at the end after this now. Um, but if not, fully understandable. It's a shaving channel, not a cooking channel. All the best. See you Wednesday. Take care.